finally the time has come. Thanks for being so patient. Let me tell you, the struggle is real. I'm not even going to jibber jabber. We're just going to get right into this because we've been patiently waiting to do this Timu haul. So let's just get cracking, shall we? First thing I got, look at this. How cute is that? It has little compartments. You guys already know how I feel about that. Put my makeup brushes in or some little small palettes. Yeah. I needed that, 100%. And by the way, my wreath is still laying on my table. We're not even going to talk about it. It's been a whole ordeal. Check out this little number. I actually won this on a game. I forget which game it was. How cool is this? It's one of those dash cameras for your car. So I'm going to be, like, filming everybody. Nobody's going to be getting away with crap when I'm on the road. Getting this bad boy, have my husband get it hooked up in my car. It just suctions up on the windshield. Yep, I'm going to have footage of everything. Let's see what this looks like, actually. And the fact that I got it for free. It's like, I'm all about getting anything for free. Very nice quality. Like, look at the, like, I don't know how this works. Like, you know me and technology. But it's super nice. It's got all kinds of, I don't know, I guess a cord. And this is like the little deal to mount it. And then I guess this is where I can, like, plug in. You know, all the all that kind of stuff. But yeah, this is really super nice. I'm very impressed with this. I I just thought these things were cool. And the fact, like I said, that now you know it's never going to fit back in this box. So why am I even attempting? Um, the fact that I won it for free makes it all the sweeter. I'm going to try to jam her in here. Let's see if I can get it back in here. I can't believe it. I did it. So, yeah, we got that. Next thing we got, my granddaughter, the oldest one, the 11-year-old one, she goes on my phone if I'm over there, and she'll be putting all kinds of, you know, she does it too. I got it trickling down all the grandkids. Before I know it, the one-year-old will be. At any rate, she goes on my phone. Hey, look at I got my Christmas Vibes t-shirt on. Got my little red bandana thing to match. I couldn't take my hair like in my face anymore for the day. So I'm like, let me put it up before I start filming. Anywho, if I'm over there, she's like, Grandma, can I see your phone? I already know what she wants. She's loading up my Timu cart with stuff. So I'm like, at least I got Christmas ideas. So this was something that was on her list. It's the cool big giant, you know, like the ear pods, whatever you call them, the little ones. But this one is a speaker to listen to your music. Like there's where the sound comes out and it's got the little adapter plug deal. This is actually really cute. She's going to love it. Of course she's going to love it. She picked it out and put it in the cart. So that's a win-win for me because trying to figure out what these kids want, especially when that in that in-between age, forget about it. You have no idea. Oh, I feel something rattling around in here. Oh, it was just the paper. Never mind. Oh, goodness. So how is everybody tonight? Thank you for being so patient with my technical difficulties and patiently waiting for the Timu extravaganza. Tonight I got me some Dole Lemonade. I was at the Dollar Tree before filming this, and I 
was dying of thirst. You see, I like have half the bottle sucked down already. I normally don't drink sugary stuff like this, but I was in line. The store was packed. And somebody went to the cooler to grab a drink, and I was like, yeah, I could use one. And this lemonade is calling my name. <sighs> yeah, that hits a spot. So I have a couple of, like, itty-bitty little things that I want to show you guys that I got for the girls. Because first of all, you already know how I feel about the little stuff. And they're just like their grandma. They like the little stuff too. So this is for, I hate all this crinkling, so I'm gonna try to figure out how it opens and uncrinkle it on my lap. Because the crinkling is super annoying. This little itty bitty Rubik's Cube, and it's a keychain, so that's a win win. Let me tell you a quick little story about this bad boy. They actually sell these like at Kohl's and stuff. They're, the brand is like the world's smallest. I ran all over God's creation last year, Christmas, trying to find the world's smallest. Rubik's Cube, never knowing I could have just gotten on Timu the whole entire time, and a lot cheaper. I tried to order it online. I went to every Kohl's under the sun, said they had them. I'd get excited. I'd get there. Not a one. Well, she's finally got one. Thank goodness. Speaking of the little Rubik's Cube, saw this and I was like, she will freak out because I was like, I'm all about these. These little itty, and when I say itty bitty, they're itty bitty deck of playing cards. Yeah, they got a little jacked up in transit. A couple of them popped out, but you can see they're right here in the bag. But look at how little and cute they are. I don't really want to give them to her like this. This looks kind of janky. And they're popped out. So I want to... I'm thinking I'm going to take them out and I'm going to like, you know, pop them all out of paper thing that they're in. I mean, it comes with like a little box that you can fold up to place them in. I don't know. I'll give it a whirl. Otherwise, I'll find some little container to put them in. So, next thing we got. This is for the soon-to-be nine-year-old as well. This may seem like really random stuff to most of you, but we, we just like stuff like this. It's like a cloud necklace. See, there's like it's the blue sky. And then there's like a whole cloud in there. She is going to absolutely love this. And this is just like little cutesy stuff to give them. I mean, they have like legit Christmas gifts. Trust me, these kids ain't hurting for nothing. Yeah, um, I got one of these for all three of the grandkids. Well, I have four grandkids, but the 17-year-old isn't going to want one of these. I'm going to have to have mom, my daughter, keep it from the one-year-old until he's old enough. But they each got their own dinosaur egg. And again, they're going to think this is super cool because it's little. I don't know how you open this. You might have to be a child in order to open this. So I want to know what's in it. Don't you? I 
can't get it though. Well, let's just, I can't get it. Let's just imagine it's like a cute, tiny little baby dinosaur in this little dino egg. It's gotta be. What else could it be? I don't know why I can't get in it, but yeah. For the 11 year old, I got her. I can't really see them, so let's pull them out. Two different color sets of ear cuffs. I love a good ear cuff. I think they're super cute. These packagings that they put this stuff in. I just want to kind of be able to see what these look like a little bit. Because there's like a bunch of different... Does, oh, sea cell hush. Of course, everything's all twisted and tangled together from shipping and whatnot. But look at, they're really cute. And these are, they're just all kind of stuck together. They're like a cute little, like, silver glitzy one. That one looks like that. So you get like five in each. So I got her the silver and the rose gold. They're super cute. I've gotten some of these for myself in the past. So she's going to really like those. I also got this for the 11 year old. I don't know how she's going to feel about it. I thought it was cool. And, and maybe if she doesn't even want to wear it right now, she can kind of just put it to the side for when she gets a little older. But I thought it was super pretty. Look at that cute bracelet. The butterflies and the turquoise. It might be a little much for her right now because her wrist is pretty dainty. And I mean, it has like the thing where you can make it smaller, but this might be a little bit too big for her. But again, I just thought it was unique and different. And I got her a jewelry box um, when she got baptized. They all got baptized a couple months ago. The In my other video, I've talked about it. My 11-year-old granddaughter and my 1-year-old grandson share the same birthday. And it's really cool. Um, when my daughter met her fiancé, he had three children. So he has a 17-year-old son and... 11 year old daughter and a soon to be nine year old daughter. And then my daughter and him have the one year old little boy together. I don't consider them like step grandchildren. Those are my grandchildren. And I love each and every one of them that, that I don't do step. And my daughter's like, those aren't my step kids. Those are my kids. I may not be their biological mother, but they're my kids. She loves them as her own. So at any rate, when he was married to his first wife, the kids never got baptized. And my daughter was baptized when she was um, a baby, but we did at the time a non-denominational baptism because I felt it was important that she be able to choose when she got older <clears throat> what spiritual path she wanted to go down. I was raised Lutheran. I That's still the religion I follow. But um, so long story short, my daughter's fiance is Lutheran and she, since they're getting married in August, well, actually they're getting married Christmas day. Shh, it's a secret. We talked about this on another video as well. I'm so excited. It's just going to be a very intimate, just the parents and the kids and them. So cute. I will post some pictures. Anyways, but they're having a huge wedding in August. Anyways, she wanted to get baptized. It was very important to her. And the baby needed to get baptized. So since his kids were not baptized yet, everybody got baptized. And it was really super sweet. But at that time... When the girls got baptized, I had got them some of the small travel jewelry boxes that we see on Timo that like zipper up. And I got them some really pretty rings and earrings to match that they can just kind of keep in there for when they're a little bit older. 
And then I also got them. These are like stone, but they're in the shape of a heart. So I each got them, my daughter as well, each got them one of these stone hearts, you know, that meant whatever individually for them. So it was really cute. Um, but yeah, the 11 year old and the one year old share a birthday and they just have like the tightest bond because of it. When my daughter was pregnant and nearing her due date, she was so worried about having the baby and her fiance's daughter's birthday. And of course it happened, but it turned out just to be a beautiful thing because they love their little brother regardless, but it just makes it extra special. They're super cute. So for the 11-year-old, I also got her these earrings. She's going to think these are really cool. These are those ones where this is the post, and then this is the back. So you put it in, and then it like hangs down off the bottom of your earlobe. She'll think that's like cool because... She doesn't really get to wear like dangly earrings and stuff. I also got her this super cute bracelet because I love stuff like this. With all the chakra beads. I am a huge fan. I, I still haven't decided I might want to keep this for myself. Let me try it on. Just for the sake of how does it feel. How cute is that? And the beads are gorgeous. They're super shiny and I don't know. I might have to keep this. Nobody tell her. They got so much stuff she would never even miss this. And I think this is real, real cute. So I don't know. Then I got one more little necklace here for the soon-to-be nine-year-old. Just because when I saw it, it made me think of her, and I thought it was super cute. <gasps> ah, don't fall. So it has like a little piece on it. I don't want to lose it. Jeez, let me make sure this it almost fell again. Let me make sure this is hooked. But how, it's just such a cute little girl necklace. I love it. Me and my daughter have a thing for elephants. And I'm like, how perfect to incorporate the granddaughter into this. And then it has a little heart charm on it. I can't read it because I don't have my glasses on. But it, it basically says, like, I love you to the moon or something along those lines. Me and my daughter actually have like a mama elephant with a baby elephant like holding on to its tail. We have the same tattoo. Me and my daughter have multiple tattoos that match. <laughs> I'm actually due for a tattoo. I'm a big fan of tattoos. My daughter has a whole entire sleeve on one of her arms and it's gorgeous. And it's all pretty much coincides or the reason she got it was for my dad who was in the navy he was in world war ii and it's just beautiful like it has a ship on there my dad when he was alive he had tattoos of hawaiian girls because after his ship was torpedoed he ended up being stationed in hawaii so he had like these hawaiian girl tattoos like on his forearm so she has just like all this stuff like in remembrance of her papa and it her sleeve is gorgeous. Like the guy who does our tattoos does great work. So yeah, we're, we're big fans of tattoos. I don't even know how many I have, but like they're like in places where they can be hidden. I don't have them like going up and down my legs and you know, all this and that. But yeah, I love tattoos. So I don't know. It's, like I said, sometimes I, I just get off track of what's going on and start talking about random things. So bear with me. Next thing, the girls are going to love this. This is hair tinsel for anybody who doesn't know. And it's a whole 
bunch of hair tinsel. So then I got them these clips. Nobody knows what these are. They're just like you slide them up your hair strands. You put like the tinsel on there, slide one of these on there, and it'll hold it on the strand. They're going to love that. So yeah, that's just like all this little putsy kind of stuff I got them. They're going to be so excited. Let's move on to something bigger and cooler. That's for me. Let me get it open. And I'm going to show you what it is. I know everybody's waiting with bated breath. Because you waited long enough for this Timu haul. I've been having this thing in my cart for a hot minute. I was like, it just intrigued me. I don't know if it'll work. But I had to have it. It would go up and down in price like everything else. That's why I don't even say prices because 9 out of 10 times, like I said, you guys are going to end up getting it cheaper than me. So there's something you, like I said, that you really need to know and you really got to have it. Let me know and I'll hook you up. I got the iron. Comes with the little cup. Because I guess this is like a steamer too. So it has like the little cover on it. It's listed as like a travel iron. I'm trying to think because I think, yeah, like. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Or you can steam. I think I got this like on some kind of deal. I think I only paid like five something for this. Peep the color, too. Like, that color is amazing. So you just put water in there. It's an actual plug. Plug her in, and away you go. Because with the wedding coming up, like the big wedding in August, we're going to need all the steamers on deck, let me tell you. So I was like, and it's travel size, so, and I got it super cheap. I don't buy anything now unless I check Timu first. And my daughter's like, yeah, but sometimes you got to wait so long. I have never once for anything waited more than, I think, 14 days max. And that was even when they opened up the Canadian market. When things, remember that? Things really came to a halt when the Canadian market opened. I think it was just a matter of them trying to figure out logistics and all this, that, and the next. But yeah, I was getting credits for things not being here on time, and but it all worked out, and now everything's back on track. Like I said, I had to order some shoes for my daughter. She wanted some gold shoes for the Christmas wedding, and she's like, Mom, those are never going to be here on time. Yeah. It says they'll be here between the 12th and the 18th. So I'm like, perfect. Wait till you see those. Oh, they're so cute. I'm so excited. Her dress. Wait till you see her dress when I post those pictures. She's not wearing a wedding dress for the Christmas wedding, but she has this beautiful, like, emerald green, Christmas green, um, kind of like a tight fitting kind of sweater material, but like, clingy dress but the sleeves are gathered at the wrist but then the sleeves themselves are see-through with like this green I don't know like kind of a little bit of sparkle but not like sparkly like weird it's so cute like descriptions don't even do it good Let, let's have a little something to drink shall we I was thinking about, I'm not, I don't really know how to sew. I can sew on a button, that's about it. But suddenly this idea popped in my head about like a big, poofy, green tulle, like overskirt, a long one. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. That would be so cute. I found some like on Amazon. They wouldn't get here on time. And like in the original, like the picture I saw, they were gorgeous. But then when it like 
really came down to the actual picture, I was like, the color didn't even look the same. But I'm like, I wonder if I could pull off making one. I can't imagine it's that hard. It's just tool. But I was like, man, if I put like a long tool, poofy lawn overskirt that tied over that dress with the poofy sheer sleeves... There we go, getting off track again. Stand by one second. So I got one of the beagles back here, and I guess I want to go out. I'll be right back. Grab a snack, because we got to finish this Timu up. Here I am. Did you miss me? Got to let them crazy beagles out. All right, let's get back at it. I got a couple toys for the dogs. I don't know. I can't. I feel like I was showing these already in the Timo Hawks. I thought I was talking about how small they were. They're super cute. Like, how cute is this? They'll play with it, but it's really little. But it's like legit, really nice. Has a squeaker in it, all their favorite things. But yeah, look at the size of it. It's really little. Don't we always say that regarding things we order on Timo? Thought that was going to be bigger. Yeah. Got them this cute little duck. Again, it's kind of small. It's not horrible. At least it's got some stuffing to it. And they'll get a kick out of it. I don't know. I just really feel like I showed you guys those. All right, what else do we got here? I got some croc charms. I'm not going to take these all out of the bag, but these ones are for the nine-year-old. All kinds of cute little shapes and designs. They love croc charms. We love our crocs. I'm all about the croc life. I'm just not about the croc charms. And we also like our straw covers. So this too is for the nine-year-old. She loses them so quickly. These straw covers are for the 11-year-old. They're so cute because look at, they're like different little bear kind of coffee drinks. These remind me of Marisol. She would like these. My 11-year-old granddaughter is going to like those a lot. And then here's just some couple random straw covers that I got. We love these things. I have a duck. Because I'm always saying just ducky. If somebody asks me how I am, I'm like just ducky. So I have a little duck straw cover that I have on my cup. And that's what I use. I think in another video I was telling you guys that my husband like lives to golf. He's going to crack up over these. They're golf tees. Yep, some blondes and a bikini. You'll like them. Never seen anything like this. Like He's going to think those are just hilarious. All right, so this I got for the 17-year-old. And if this shirt doesn't sum him up, I don't know what does. It says, I like cats and coffee and maybe three people. So 17-year-old for you. He loves coffee. He loves his cat. And probably... Yeah, about three people. I don't even know if I'm included in that. But yeah, I saw that and I was like, I have to get that for him. That is like absolutely perfect. Cecil's outside howling for some unknown reason. I don't even know. I'm trying to see what else I have in this bag. All right, I got these for my daughter. She's been wanting these forever. 
So I figured why not get them now for Christmas? These cute little slippers. Super cute. Yeah, there's two of them. You know, I have big giant feet. I mean, I guess I'm pretty tall. I used to be 5'11", but in my 55 plus years of life, I have shrunk. I have back issues. I've done hair for over 30 years. I've been a barber, all around master hairstylist. I do non-surgical hair replacement, makeup. I do all the things. But now I just work from home on my computer. I had to give up doing hair. I mean, I still have my clients that I do, but it's, it's few. Because my body's shot from all the years of doing hair. I don't know how we even got on that subject. Oh, because I said that I shrunk in my old age. Now I'm like five nine and a half, and I have big feet. But my dad was big. My dad was six five. My mom was, I think, five nine. Um. So yeah, I wear size ten, maybe sometimes an eleven. But my daughter has these little baby feet. How did that happen? My husband's tall, too. My husband's 5'11". I don't know. And she looks just like her daddy. So, yeah, she got these cute little slippers. She's going to really like those because she's been wanting them for quite some time. <clears throat> this is stuck in my bag for some reason. I got this for my daughter's, or for my future son-in-law's mom. She loves murder mystery stuff. So this is like a clue card game. Pretty self-explanatory. I think she'll like that because it's different and it's unique. Uh, what is this? I am super stoked about this. I also got this for her for Christmas. Again, I should have got myself one. Not today, heifer. Not my pasture. Not my cow. Not my bullshit. And this cute little coffee mug. Look at this cute little face. Or her cute little face. Again, it's like awesome Christmas gift, but I feel like I need one of these. I know, I can just hop back on Timo and get one. So the last of the things that I need to show you is, I'm not even going to show you all of them because they're all this, the same. They're just different colors. They are the Stanley dupes. I got one for the 9-year-old, one for the 11-year-old, and one for my daughter. So this is the one I got for my daughter, the gray one. The 11-year-old got like a cream-colored one, and the 9-year-old got like a baby blue one. Because they have, you know, everybody has thermal cups, but they all want Stanleys. And it's like, why pay the price of a Stanley when you can get the Stanley dupe and the top it off? And another order, I got these little baby Stanley. Little things, it's the little things. And these little baby Stanleys coming, they're so cute. So that's what I got for this Timu haul here. I thank you guys for being so patiently waiting to finally see this haul. I believe I got my video issues with my phone squared away. We shall see. So again, I love all the comments. Like, I'm all about the comments. Like, I'm so excited to have comments in my videos. You guys don't even know. And like all these new friends. And yeah, I, I'm probably going to keep rambling on and on about this because I'm just so excited. So that's all I got for tonight. I'm glad you guys waited with great anticipation to finally see this Timu stuff. I have plenty more Timu stuff, so don't worry. There'll be plenty more coming. 
So for now, have a great night. Have an even better tomorrow. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Jazz, signing off. Bye.